it's Sam. So today I'm going to be testing out the new Tati Blendiful. I actually purchased mine myself and I go into exactly how much it was, how long the shipping was, how much I paid for shipping, how much you pay for shipping if you want it to get there really fast. We're going to be doing a full face tutorial using this uh, Blendiful and then I'm going to be coming back later on and testing it out with the little tiny one the baby Blendiful and we're going to be putting this to the test because you guys know I am like the greasiest person ever so we're going to be testing it out to see how it does as far as little touch-ups and kind of absorbing that oil I'm going to speed through the little eye makeup section just because I don't want to like waste a ton of time when it's not necessarily something that it's any different that you haven't seen but I will include everything that I used in the description box for you guys if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up if you found this helpful and don't forget to follow me on Instagram it is at Sam Sherman s-c-h-u-e-r-m-a-n um, also if you're wondering what the heck did I just grow a mole overnight I had a lip sit that was like ginormous that will not go away it's just like hanging out for dear life so I just went and had an did a little Cindy Crawford. Not sure if I'm loving it or if I keep on, I keep feeling like I have poop or food or a bug on my lip, but I think now it's like I'm pot committed. I'm just going to go ahead and rock it the whole, the whole day. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to try out the Blendiful. So it just comes in just this little black puffy mailer. Just says Blendiful. It says no harsh lines, XO's Tati on the back, and it just says the cleaning instructions are to machine wash and dry in a delicate laundry bag or gently hand wash in warm soapy water. Rinse thoroughly and blot dry. Do not bleach, do not dry clean, and it's 100% polyester polyurethane. It's cruelty free, vegan, which is very good. I paid $18, uh, shipping was $2.95, Tax was $1.42, so altogether I paid $22.37, which it's a little pricey. I use the Juno & Co sponge and I can get like a pack of four for I think 20 bucks. So for one, well I guess it's two because there's two in here. For two sponges, um, it's not terrible, but it's, you know, it's not, I wouldn't say it's affordable. It's kind of up there for a sponge, but it might be amazing. So. It's one of those things, if it's really, really good and it saves you time and it works really well and it puts your makeup down, it's worth it. I ordered this on January 10th and it arrived Monday. Monday was the 20th. So it took 10 full days for it to get here, which is kind of a lot. So standard domestic shipping, five to seven business days is $2.95. So that's what I paid because I was like, I'm not gonna pay the next one. So if you want expedited, domestic shipping, which is two to five business days. Two to five is kind of a big difference, so I was just kind of like, well, what if it's the five, and then I'm paying $11.95. This is so light, $11.95. So I was like, ooh, that's like almost as much as a sponge. I'm gonna go with the cheap shipping, and I feel like a lot of people are probably gonna end up going with the cheap shipping, so I wanted to see exactly how long it would take. The shipping is not my favorite. I feel like that's pretty slow and also very expensive if you, if you do want to expedite it. When you open them up, you get your big Blendiful. This is the like big one, the main one. And you get this little ribbon here that says Tati Beauty. It does feel unbelievably soft. There is a bit of a kind of bounce to it, but it's super duper silky and it is like quite, you know, flexible. You can move it around. You can fold it up quite well. And then you've got your little small one. So this one is supposed to be for touch up. So it just has a little ribbon and this one's quite firm. This one is a little bit more like bendable versus this one. This is quite like stiff compared to this one. Everything is supposed to be used dry, which is kind of like weird for me because I'm so used to getting my sponge wet. So normally I put it directly onto my sponge. So I usually do one pump and one pump. I feel like I don't want to hold it like that. I kind of just want to hold it like this. And so she kind of just swiped when it came to foundation. I will say it feels unbelievably soft. Like it feels really amazing on the skin. Um, and it's definitely comfortable to hold as well. So because I'm kind of doing more of a swiping motion, I am getting a little bit more of a kind of sheer, more natural coverage. And that's already taken up all of my product. Whereas normally on my sponge, that would cover this whole area of my face. So I don't think there's really any more left. Yeah, there's no more. So I'm gonna have to do another pump. So as far as um, using less product goes, I wouldn't say 
that that is actually the case. And that could be because it's dry versus normally I use a wet sponge. It's very easy to just pull down the neck, which I like. You know, it's like really easy to use. So I feel like because I can kind of bend it to my nail, I can like really get in this area right here. And you can also like really get in, you can get into the crevices quite well. I'm having to go in for another pump. I usually mix two foundations, so I'm just using my Tarte Found Sealer as well as my Revlon Color Stay. It's easy to work with. It seems to blend everything out really nicely. So I feel like the coverage is actually more of like a, a natural finish with this. I think I can definitely get fuller coverage with my Juno & Co sponge. However, this does look very skin-like and it has covered everything for the most part that I need to cover. If you wanted more coverage, you would probably just kind of stipple and bounce versus swipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my Milk Makeup Concealer. And I'm just gonna bounce it. Again, I can really get into that little crevice right there. That seems to have blended everything out well. It just feels a little bit weird for me to do just because it, it's obviously flatter than like a normal sponge. So it just felt kind of weird. Like I was like almost like hitting myself with my nail. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to loose powder. So this is the NARS. So I'm just trying to like not touch this corner over here, but I am using more of a clean area. Okay, so that looks really flawless with the powder. Definitely picks up a lot more product than I'm used to but it seems to really be pushing the product in to the skin really, really nicely and like filling in all of the pores. I do feel a little bit dry and powdery underneath the eye though, just because um, it picks up so much product. And then whatever is left, I'm just gonna go over the rest of my face. Look at this section, pores compared to this section. And, um, Obviously, I've got some wrinkles going because I haven't had BOTOX in four and a half months. So, you're seeing my real wrinkly forehead. I really like the way it sets the powder down. It is super gorgeous, like so flawless and smooth. Now, this is the tricky part, you guys, because I normally use a white and a pink setting powder underneath my eyes with a brush. I wouldn't even use it with my sponge, but because I'm trying out my whole face with this, we're gonna give it a go and hope for the best. I'm a little bit nervous. So I'm taking the Ben Nye Super White and the Ben Nye Pink. I think I'm gonna mix it with a brush in the pot first, just so that it is like evenly distributed because I like to mix both of the colors together. I'm gonna get the same powder side that I was using and I'm gonna pinch it real small because I have to dip it into this tiny little thing. The nice thing is that it's quite flexible and like movable, pliable whatever the word would be, so I can kind of pinch it. And I'm just gonna pop that right underneath. So I have no idea what the heck this is gonna look like. I might look ridiculously cakey, or I might look really bright. So now I'm just kind of opening it up and just blending all of that away. So far so good, looks nice. Okay, so that's blended it out nicely. It doesn't look too white or ridiculous under there. I think normally with a brush, I do get a little bit more brightness, um, but I do think that this makes it look really smooth. So I'll take smooth. Now I am really oily, guys. I always, ha I feel like I always have to make this disclaimer because I have really oily skin and I live in a humid climate. So if you are dry, you do not need this much powder. If you are super oily like I am, then it's okay. Don't worry, you'll be greasy by the time it's. 930. Um, so I'm just taking my Giorgio Armani loose or I'm sorry luminous silk I guess I'm gonna go ahead and Just use the same powder section. Well, I don't know because that was really pale So I think I might just have to use a different section 
I'm gonna use this little clean section over here. So I do like the fact that it is so big because like she said, she's she runs out of real estate. Now I have a new real estate over here, so we're good. So I'm just gonna tap. I've never used this powder without a brush before again, so I'm just getting a little bit and I usually just use this powder just to kind of bring everything together and like marry all of the powders. Also because the NARS is so, so white, I just make sure that I am adding a little bit of like tone back into the skin so it's not just like ashy looking. And then I'm also just gonna pat that onto my neck. We're moving on to bronzer. I normally never would use my bronzer with a sponge, but like I said for this video, we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna take my Beauty Counter um, Radiant All Over Bronzer in the color Dune. I really like this color. It kind of has a bit of a warmth to it. Kind of almost like you have a sunburn, which I kind of like. So I'm just gonna tap in the same where I put the Giorgio Armani. I'm gonna go ahead and tap in. Now I'm doing the exact same routine as I normally would. So I normally don't use a cream contour. So that's putting it down, but I feel like I'm having to pick up a lot more product than I normally would with a brush. If you're gonna use this on your contour, you might wanna just, you know, be prepared to buy your contour color more often. Okay, so now I'm really like pinching it. I really like how you can, you can very easily make this what you wanna make it, you know what I mean? Like if I wanna make it super skinny and like really little to like fit into that area, I can do that. Whereas like with a beauty sponge, you really can't cause they're quite firm in a way. Ooh, look at that, that's nice. It's very easy to manipulate. I feel like if you're someone who gets a little excited with the bronzer, this might be a really good tool to use actually, because it's quite precise. It's really just getting like right in that cheekbone and just kind of popping that area right there. Once your product is down, you don't really want to do any swiping. Like for me, I personally don't want to disrupt anything, so that's why I'm just kind of bouncing. Once you get down to this area, I don't think it's that big of a deal if you swipe, because there's not like really anything. I'm just kind of bronzing up my neck. Go in there. I'm just gonna kind of go on the sides here and just kind of very gently pull up. And then I'm gonna see if I can get the tiniest little bit on the tip. And just create that little buttony kind of shell. Okay, so we have contoured. I actually really like it. I think the contour looks super pretty. There's a little bit of a line right here. I'm just gonna kind of softly blend that out just a little bit more. For blush, I am going to do two different ones. I'm gonna do a base and then I'm gonna do a topper. So I'm gonna take the Isn't It Peachy Makeup Obsession. So I think I'm gonna just go back in with that bronzer one because it's already kind of, you know, blushy area. And I'm gonna pop it into Daydream right here. And I'm just gonna kind of pounce. I'm so surprised, you guys. Everything is blending out so beautifully and this feels so weird to do every single thing without a brush. I feel like you definitely do have to use a lot more product though. Like normally I would just do one dip into the blush and I'd be done. Whereas this, I feel like I do have to keep on dipping in and building it up. So I do feel like it does collect a lot of product in the sponge, but you don't have to use any brushes and it looks really, really super flawless. Like the blend is Maze. I'm gonna go in with my Vow Stroboscope. This is the um, Honeymoon. And this is a loose powder. And this is quite a pigmented powder. Oh wow, that's actually put that down really, really nicely. The nice thing about this blush is that it has a really gorgeous golden sheen, so it kind of highlights your cheek really beautifully without picking up texture. I'm gonna take my Urban Decay universal <coughs> brush, what is it called? One and done, the ultimate brush set, up, set and go powder. I think I'm just gonna wipe off the corner where I did that super white powder. So not the blush one, not the foundation one, but the under eye powder one. So I always just pounce or pat. 
when it comes to baking. I'm also going to pop just a little bit of that right in the center here. I'm just using a towel. I just want to see how well we can kind of wipe it off. Yeah, that seems to have done really well. I mean, you can still see a little bit of blush on there, but I just want to make sure that it's like nice and clean for when I highlight. So I'm going to take my VOW Stroboscope from Home Play Cosmetics. This is a highlighting powder. I'm dying to know what it does with this because this is quite a sparkly product and I feel like I usually have to really buff it into the skin um, to get like the desired kind of wet look that I want. Holy shnikes. <laughs> that was a little more than I expected. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the other side and then we're gonna have to go back and just blend and push that product in. You know what I'm not loving about this is that it's actually pushing more of the product down this way than I am actually pushing it into the skin. It kind of just seems to be moving it. So I think I need to be more focused and maybe this is where I actually kind of have to like put more pressure. This is where a brush comes in for me usually. I buff it like it's so sparkly that you kind of have to buff it into the skin. So I'm just going to kind of, I wiped quite a lot of it off of my thing. Hmm. It's not working very well with this specific highlighter. It's really just, yeah, there's like literally no highlighter on there. It's just pushed it all down to the bottom part of my face and there's nothing underneath where I set. It's gone all around, but where I set underneath my eye with so much powder, it's not sticking for me. So it might be one of those things where you just don't use it for highlighter. I'm gonna go into this new one from Too Faced that I got. This is the uh, Fancy Pink Diamond. I think because obviously it was a heavier, heavier under eye than I would normally do with powder just because normally I use a brush. The highlighter just does not want to stick to that section. It's going basically everywhere but it's not able to set where I had put that Ben Nye Super White Powder. Normally I do such a light amount that it's just not, it just doesn't want to sit down. So, But it did do really well on the nose highlight, um, but I don't know if I love it for highlight. So I'm just brushing out my brows. And I'm just going to apply my Urban Decay Brow Blade Taupe Trap. I'm just going to fast forward through the eyes and I will leave everything down below that I am using. Okay, I got a little bit of a boo-boo on my eyes, so I'm gonna let that dry. In the meantime, I think it is time for us to kind of brush off this bake. I'm just kind of patting it off. And I'm just patting all around my face. I'm just kind of pressing it all into the skin. I still have a, a nice little bit of highlighter right here. It's just not quite as much as I would like it to be. So we're just going to see if this is going to work. This is the Doll 10 Skin Reviving Setting Mist. And I'm mainly focusing it 
right in that area where I want to put the highlight, but I did do it all over my face. Always make sure if you're going to reapply highlighter, blush, anything, make sure that you are completely dry. Otherwise you're going to get a little splotch. I will say my face looks flawless. Like it looks so smooth and delightful. I am noticing a little bit of cracking right up the nose, but that always happens. I need to get this little blob off my eye. It looks so bad. I'm going to try this Too Faced one one more time. And we're going to see if we can get this puppy to work. This time I'm just going to kind of more press, but then also swipe a little bit. Okay, that's working a little bit better. Yeah, that seems to be working a lot better. So I think the key is if you did use a lot of powders with this, it really puts down a lot of powders and it really presses it in. So the key is to spray before you do your highlight. Okay, so it's still not setting right here, kind of where I want it to go, just because I think there's so much powder put down from that puff. Um, that I'm looking almost a little yellow actually. I feel like I do need to just use a little tiny bit of my powder just right here just to kind of, if for some reason it's gone a little yellow looking under there. I also have a little bit of a white up there so I'm just gonna kind of try to soften that up just a little bit. Let's do good old Urban Decay Naked, shall we? And then I'm going to go in with the 3035 from Lord and Barry. I'm going to finish off with the Pixie, Pixie and Chloe Morello Parfait Lip Gloss. This lip gloss is so pretty. It has so many like little sparkles. I'm trying to decide what to do with this mole or this zit. Do I just make it to look like a mole? I feel like I need to add a bit of warmth. It's like too, too dark now. Make it look like more skin-like. Cindy Crawford style because the zit is huge and won't go away. Now we're gonna take a good peek. I think from afar, it's like literally flawless. It looks amazing. Even my, like my forehead lines, cause they are like, you know, I got some right now. Um, they're not looking bad. Nothing has settled in. Like everything's looking really nice. It is looking a little cakey, a little heavy right in this area. I don't know if that's just because so much powder went down or if I had to apply so much foundation, so much more foundation than I normally do because normally I would do two pumps for like this whole section of my face and then like half a pump on this section. So I feel like I definitely did use a lot more product as far as foundation, powder, bronzer, blush, like everything I used a lot more. So this is the one I normally use and because it is velvet, nothing really absorbs into it. And like, you know, here's the size difference. While I do think that you use a lot more product with the blendable, I really do like the way that it does have those three different corners to where you can switch it up for bronzer and blush concealer foundation and powders. I think it's nice that you do have so much real estate. Like she said, it was unbelievably soft, so easy to use. It just kind of, I mean, you can glide it, you can pounce it. It's very easy to just hold and kind of manipulate into what shape you want it to be. And the fabric I feel like is just lovely, like really, really nice. The cons are the fact that I feel like you are gonna use, you're gonna go through product quicker but it was a lot quicker to apply. So I think what you gain in time, you are gonna lose in product. So that's kind of one of those things that you have to decide, are you willing to have to maybe potentially buy product more often to save yourself probably a good five, maybe even 10 minutes off of your routine. You know, when you're only using one thing, you can ding, 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 versus looking for all of your brushes. Just looking for brushes sometimes, like that'll kill like 30 seconds each time I'm switching into a different product. So I do feel like you're gonna save time if you are gonna be using this for the majority of your face, your, your face, your, I can't even talk, your face products. It's just amazing what like little 30 seconds, a minute, 
those tiny increments of time, they do add up. Um, but the concealer, I think you're going to use the exact same amount of concealer. But I definitely noticed with the blush, the bronzer, the powder, you would definitely pick up and you have to keep on picking up more product in order to get the same effect that you would with a brush, maybe one dip. So that's just kind of what I noticed personally for my face. It's, of course, everyone is different. You never know what it's going to do for you. I definitely look very flawless, very kind of like finished and airbrushed. It's done a great job. I'm super surprised. Like honestly, I was not expecting to like this. When you look at it, you're like, I just don't think that this is going to do what I want it to do. But it's amazing at how, how many things you can do with it, like how many products you can use with it and how beautiful it really does apply your makeup. Like, I mean, I have no harsh lines, you guys, literally. And that's what it says on the back, no harsh lines. She's not lying. A lot of the time, like I see other people using stuff and I'm like, well, of course it looks good on you. Your skin is perfect. You have no, you know, no fine lines, no wrinkle, no texture. Your skin is like goddess. So of course, literally everything you put on your face probably is gonna be amazing. So it's always like, I'm always kind of wary when I watch other people's reviews because I'm like, well, yeah, it's going to look great on you, but wait till I do it on me. Just because I do have a lot of stuff that, you know, it makes it harder for makeup to look good. And I do feel like this actually did a really beautiful job. I'm very happy. I am going to come back and check in with you guys throughout the day um, just to see because I want to use the little the little touch up puff. So she was saying that basically as your day goes on and you get oily, which I get super oily, you're just going to press this into your skin and that's going to absorb your extra oil. She said you could also apply more powder. I found that when I apply more powder over my really oily skin, it ends up looking awful. So I never reapply powder. As of right now, I would definitely give this a thumbs up. I mean, I think it really is a great product and I think a lot of people are really going to like it. And I don't think you necessarily have to be a pro to be able to enjoy the benefits of it. It's easy to use. It's very like you, I mean, you just pick it up super quickly for never using this before. I thought it was going to be really awkward and I was going to be like, oh, what do I do? I don't really like holding it like this. I, it's, it's easier for me to kind of hold it like that. But I think it's one of those products that you can, you'll pick up really easily. So if you are someone who's kind of new to makeup or you're just like, you know, you just don't feel like you have pro skills, I think you're still going to be able to get a great finished result with it. So it's very, very user friendly. We'll chat more about the little baby heart. Oh, it's called the baby blendiful. Okay, so the baby, the baby and the mama. Okay. okay guys, so here is my sponge. You can see it is pretty dirty. I mean, it looks a bit of a mess. I am gonna go ahead and wet it. Normally what I do is just use my Dove soap. It's like the sensitive skin one. And I just rub it on my sponge. That's how I usually use or wash mine. And it works really great. And it's way cheaper than having to get a beauty blender cleanser. And I feel like it's a lot more gentle than the Dr. Bronner's. So it seems to be getting the powders out like that quite well. Okay, so that is how clean I was able to get it with my Dove soap. Not so clean. So I'm gonna try Dawn dish soap instead. I'm just gonna do one pump. It got the powders off okay, but I didn't really lather up very well. That seems to be breaking it apart a little bit better. The Dove is just so gentle, which is why I use it on my beauty sponge. I'm just trying to like pinch it out. We'll say that it seems to get the bubbles out fairly quickly. Okay, so that is washing it two times with a different soap. So you can see there's still a quite a bit of foundation right there. You can still see a little bit of like a blush color there, but it's mainly just where that foundation was. So I'm just gonna see if I do one more pump, can I get it out? I mean, I would never spend this much time. Honestly, I do not expect it to be super clean. It seems quite durable though. I feel like you can give it a good scrub and it doesn't like really get ruined or lose its shape. Even this little ribbon seems to be holding up quite well. And you can see like it's already like the soap suds are out. I think that's as clean as we're gonna get it, you guys. We got it pretty clean. I mean, it's not perfect. So I'm just gonna give it a squeeze out with my towel. 
it's not as soft as it was before, but I literally just washed it, what, like four times? I think it's just because it's wet right now. I'm sure once it dries, it'll feel super soft. So we'll feel this towards the end of the night once it's dried and see if it's just as soft as it was before. Look who's back with a brand new wrap. What time is it? The time is 7.58 p.m. <laughs> so I first checked in, I think it was 10, uh, I think it was like 10.50 or something like that. So it's been on, let's just say nine to 10 hours. Um, I actually have not touched it up all day today, like at all. I actually did not have to touch up halfway through the, out the day, which I normally have to. And I think it was just because I got so much powder on my face that I actually did not look oily today. I mean, I'm very oily on the forehead, as you guys can see, like that's looking quite greasy. And I'm a little oily on the T-zone and a little bit, you know, right here. So we're just gonna take the little Tachi sponge, little Ooh, baby blendiful. I have a blue brush, cool. Ooh. And I'm basically just going to press it and see what we can get out of this. I'm just going to do one side and then we can see the difference. Wow, that's like done a really good job. Here I see the difference. That's with and that's without. So there's like a line of shine. You're supposed to be in bed. I don't want to be in bed. What are you doing? Don't get, don't get makeup on that brush. <gasps> don't do that. Go wipe off your face. Why? Because you, it's bedtime, babe. I don't want to go. To bed. You do need to go to bed. Come on, off you go. Let me finish this video. I love you. Go wipe off your face, babe. <laughs> you a monkey. That really has done such a great job of just taking away the oil and just minimizing it and making everything look fresh again. Like I literally could go back out and I look fine. And that's this side versus this side. So this side's quite shiny still. Definitely do think that this little sponge works great at just kind of absorbing that oil and taking away that shine. Cause like you can see right here, it's just like so shiny. Um, so now I do want to test it with a little bit of powder just to see because I, I think Tachi had said in her video that like you can press right into the powder. For some reason, I like being the center of attention. Oh, you like being the center of attention, do you? Sort of. Well, when I'm on camera, not in like public. Oh, okay. So you just like, you're more of a personality on screen than in real life? Yeah, I like the camera. Okay. So I'm just basically just going to dust off most of the powder so that I'm just getting a little bit. And we're just going to... I didn't mean like center of attention. I just like being in videos. You just like being in videos? Yeah, I see. Okay, this is actually working really well. It's definitely, it definitely helps when you pack. Okay, so now that is the side that I just added the powder um, with the little sponge, which worked great. I just used the little heart corner. And now that is literally flawless. Like it's covered up all of my pores. And you know, it's funny because normally if I were to do that with a brush or with even a regular beauty sponge that I normally use, it would not look very good, but I feel like for whatever reason, this material makes it so that the pores just disappear. <laughs> the pores just disappear. That's amazing. I'm so impressed. So I'm just going to go ahead and touch up the other side now. So I definitely think that this side does look better now that I have added and then it modifies and just like refreshes all over again. And nothing is being disrupted. I'm really impressed you guys that worked really well so I would definitely recommend this for touching up keeping it in your bag keeping that oil at bay and then if you do want to bring even a pressed powder or a loose powder just to touch up um, throughout the day I mean I literally look as good as new now and I could go back out and you would never know that it was the end of the night other than the fact that my hair looks like a straggly little worm is right here oh wait that's my Oh, that's, I thought this was a piece of hair. I was like, that's a really weird like hair. What happened here? Feels really nice now. The pores are all smoothed out. Everything lasted really well. And I will say, I feel like my highlight ended up looking really beautiful. I kept looking at my makeup today and I was like, gosh, my makeup looks so pretty. It just looks so flawless and so polished and so blended. Like it looks so good. Like I feel like my makeup did look better today than it normally looks. So I do think that the Blendiful is actually pretty wonderful. Okay, so yes, it is dry. So we washed it this morning. It was probably around 11 by the time I washed it. I mean, it's kind of packed down a little bit, but again, we washed it like tons of times. I would normally not wash it that much. I would have just done a quick dove 
because it does feel like it kind of took away some of that softness. Yeah, you look great. Okay. I love you. Okay. You gonna check in the mirror? <laughs> are you gonna do makeup tutorials when you're older? Do you, are you gonna wear makeup when you're older? Donna. Oh. You look like I need to. You no, know, you're perfect. You are literally perfection. You're perfection in a tube. I am. Um, if you could do any video on YouTube, what would you do? Mm. What would you do? Pajama haul. Oh, you do pajama hauls? Yeah. Yeah, you do like pajamas, don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> High five. Okay, love you. Okay. Catch you later, gorgy court. You have a sweet dream. Bye, friends. Love you, boo boos. Love you. <laughs> Bye. It feels like the fibers are kind of lying down a little bit more than they were, and I'm wondering if you washed it in the washing machine, if those would kind of fluff back up, because on this side, um, you can kind of see how well, no, maybe, no, these, it just is a little bit more pressed down on this side. One of my followers on Instagram, Carol, said that if you run out of room on this first side, flip over the ribbon to the other side, and then you have a whole new side. So you literally have like two days into one. If you do end up using, you know, each section like I did for one day, then you don't have to wash it every day, which then you would just wash it every other day, which is kind of cool. So, or if you just need, you know, if you have more space that you want to use up, flip it around and you can just literally eek. So that's awesome. Um, so, and then I guess it would go, yeah, this same, same thing goes for this as well. You could flip over the ribbon. So thank you to Carol. I would definitely buy this again. When this one runs out, I will definitely be repurchasing. I think this is definitely gonna replace a lot of people's sponges and brushes. I just think it's super awesome. So impressed by my makeup. It literally looks so good. Like, I don't think my makeup has actually ever looked this good this long in the day. I keep looking at myself and I'm like, how is this my skin? Like, it looks so good. I'm gonna go now. I love you guys. I hope you guys found that helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys. Let me just turn this lamp down. So now I just have my little light right here. Let's see if that, oh, that might be helpful. Is that more helpful or is that? Yeah, no, well, let's take that off and then you guys can just see. What, I've got my light all the way down. If I turn it off, you're not gonna be able to see me at all, but it's, you know, it's pitch black in here. But there's my lamp all the way down to the very lowest, just so that I ha actually have light on me. But that is what my skin looks like. It never looks this good at the end of the night, you guys. Happy Friday, I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you guys back on Monday. Mwah.